The World Health Organization estimates that around 7 million people die globally a year from air pollution. Every breath that you take has something in it. And the question is, what damage is that going to be doing to your health? Breathe London is a network of over 400 sensors providing real-time air pollution information for communities right across London. We've got them at GP surgeries, at hospitals, at schools, playgrounds, parks, next to roads. We've even got some in allotments. One of the common misconceptions about air pollution is that it all comes from one source or it all has the same health impact. That's not so. Air pollution comes from many sources and those sources change over time. So we're standing next to the road here. There'll be particles coming off of brake wear, from tire wear, resuspended from the road surface. But there are also particles in the air that have traveled vast distances, even across countries and, and persist in the air for quite a long time. Air pollution is a really serious problem in London. It's estimated there are almost 9,500 deaths from air pollution every year in London alone. The effects of air pollution are devastating. People often understand that air pollution affects the lungs, but what they perhaps don't realise is that air pollution affects every organ of the body. We now know that it impacts the cardiovascular system, it's impacting on brain growth. Really any organ you can think of, air pollution has an impact and that's because it causes inflammation. What measuring pollution helps us to do is to try and figure out where it's coming from and how much. You can really understand the influence of air pollution on health. And using that knowledge, that helps us target the policies to where we need to focus our efforts. Our approach was to give the small sensors out to the local communities and authorities to enable them to answer their local questions. The small sensor network is actually tied dynamically to the reference network in order to achieve the quality that's required. The next stage is for us to take this process outside of London and go national and international with it. The Clarity Nodes has been perfect for this project. It has a small solar panel, it's easy to put up, it connects to the network work anywhere and all of those factors combined means that communities can put them up by themselves. People are involved in the network. In 2018 we learned that the children at this school and others were breathing in illegal levels of air pollution so a group of parents came together to take urgent action. We've used Breathe London data to do some really important things. Big leaflet campaigns, petitions, social media campaigns and thousands of local community members wrote to their local councillors, MPs, the Mayor of London to ask for clean air for their schools and communities. Affordable accessible tech like the Clarity Nodes is a total game changer. I mean as soon as people understand the air they're breathing they can start to protect themselves and they can start to make real positive change. Air pollution is a public health crisis as well as an environmental concern. But we have the power to change this. We have the technology, we have the data. This is now about action. All of us have to breathe all the time and we all have a stake in the quality of the air we breathe. My daughter Morgan is nine and she's one of the big reasons, along with my son Oscar, why we've been campaigning. I've done a lot of campaigning myself, helped my mum post leaflets through doors on nearby streets. My brother has written a letter to the council and I have also drawn like stuff with the walk to school route maps. It's made me feel really good. It's given me a voice and it's given me the confidence to know that I can speak up and make a change.